Hi, Pisces. This is Alex. And my southern angel is with me with for you, Pisces. Let's see what God, angels, and universe has for Pisces. I hope y'all are doing well. Shuffle those cards, girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, Pisces, what do we have? Oh, she wants to read for you guys. Nice, Aquarius. We got a blissful new beginning. After a hard time, it was a tough decision that many of you had to make, but honey, you're making it and you're moving on. Congratulations, Pisces. I hear for a lot of you guys, you've been wanting this new beginning. It feels like you've been trying to heal Walk away from, get away from, moving away from some sort of old scenario that, you know, just kind of disappointed you over and over and over again. But with Aries sitting right there in the middle as the emperor, a lot of you guys put your big feet and all ten toes down. And you're like, you know what? I am motherfucking out. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Ooh. <sighs> Okay, this one fell. Ugh. Yeah, it was a decision. It was a tough decision that many of you guys did not. You struggled making it. You know, not only that, but I also kind of feel like, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You, um, not really delayed, but it was almost like you kept your, you kept the truth from yourself for a long time. But I feel like after a while, it was just like, nah, I can't, I can't lie to myself no more. I can't keep pretending that this shit is going good when it really is not. I, I feel like a lot of you guys had like a come to Jesus. You had like a come to Jesus moment with yourself. Now let's talk about this, Passies. Let's talk about who we have on the table. We have Uranus here with uh, the fool. That is Aquarius. You have... Lucifer down here at the bottom, who's Capricorn. You have uh, Aries here uh, for the Emperor. And then that's it. Okay. You got swords and you got a boat of cups on the table. And a couple of pentacles. Okay. So no wands here, which is, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Because I kind of feel like the wands being like a forward, progressive, forward moving cards that makes sense as far as why they're missing in this reading because I feel like for a lot of you guys it was tough for you to make this decision to move on but I do kind of feel like a lot of you guys are finally making the decision to move on and I think also too what's a part of that is because you're more so interested in chasing love you know you need love you know you deserve love versus what it is that you've been getting right I feel like there was somebody in your present or past the person you're leaving or walking away from they were making false promises. You know, it was almost like they were, uh, oh, wow. I don't, how do I describe that? They kept pretending that you guys would start over, start over, or they would change. They would change. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to school. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to apply for this job. I'm going to do, like, I kind of feel like they just kept feeding you things over and over again as a way of manipulating you and keeping you into the relationship, right? I feel like whomever this whomever this was, they absolutely under the sun had no intention intentions on improving or living up to anything that they might have promised you. Not only that, but I'm also getting to that this person was an award-winning actor or actress because I feel like they're like on God or my children on this I'm a change. And you're like, no, you're not. You know what I mean? Or you believe them in the past, right? Definitely here with this fool card. A lot of you guys gave them the benefit of the doubt. You wanted to believe them. You hung in there with them. Um, you know, that fool card, fool card says to me, yeah, you definitely be get, um, believe them. You gave them chance after chance after chance to start over, you know? But I'm sorry, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, after the 17th time, statistically that says to me you know what uh after 17 times and you ain't got it done yet and i can't give you the 18th because you already created a history that you're not going to do anything or you're not going to do what you say said right 
Now, of course, walking away from this, you know, you weren't happy. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, not only do you know you have to walk away from it, but you also have to detox, right? Now, tell me where the hell that came from. It, for me as a psychic, not a tarot reader, for a psychic first, I heard that they depleted you, right? Which is why he's on his knees. He's on the ground, head down. He's a soldier. Look, he's got armor on. Is that armor? Yeah, he's a soldier. Okay? But he's on the ground, which means that he is suffering from some sort of injury. You know what I mean? And, you know, definitely with the Eight of Pentacles, that's paying painsta painstaking attention to detail to the point where you're going to build something, uh, you know, of great uh, uh, worth and value. You know what I mean? And ladies and gentlemen, there is no other species here of greater worth and value than you. Right. And and by the way, all species are, wor are worth, you know, are great value. OK, but I do kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, you once you cut this way, cut this away, you immediately have to go into building yourself back up immediately. Pisces, quick, fast and in a hurry. OK, but for some of you, you're going to second guess yourself. You're going to be like, did I do the right thing? And maybe the 18th time. Don't do that, Pisces. Mm mm. Mm -mm. This person, whomever this was, they did a great job at creating the history that they're not going to fucking change. They've done a great job. You have no, no choice but to pay attention to that. For some of you guys, unfortunately, you are in denial about it. Well, he really does love me. Okay, well, can you take love to the bank and pay your mortgage? Oh, wait, you can't? Moving on. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know what to do. You know, you need to put your foot down. You know, you need to make a decision. You need to snatch your ass up on out of denial and look at this situation for what it is. Look at your person for who they are. Now, definitely they are with the King of Swords, who I'm going to love very much. Hey, Kingy. Um, <laughs> he is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, once you pull yourself out of this denial... Once this emperor pulls you out of this damn denial, you're going to go back and add it, as they say, hindsight is 2020. Honey, your hindsight is going to be 5-5. Five, five. Okay, you're going to go back and start seeing all of the bullshit, all of the toxicity, all of the abuse, the emotional abuse, the verbal abuse, the, the gaslighting, the fucking lying and manipulating. Like, this to me opens a floodgates. And ladies and gentlemen, from that rush of mental energy and everything now that you're seeing crystal clear that's what's going to help you on your merry little way pisces right y'all know the tidal wave the big wave comes across but honey it's those little waves behind too that are very significant and helps move us along too okay not only that but oh shit Oh, shit. Angels are saying your person is going to get creative because once you start seeing the truth, you're going to act different. You see different, you act different. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, once I, once I acknowledge that you're lying to me, I can never believe the lie again. You know what I mean? So you start doing things differently and you start to like move forward and you're like, you're getting ready to cut them off. You're saying things like, no, I don't want to talk to you. No, I don't want to, you know, don't make me no promises. Like you are changing and kind of, again, growing away from them. So what do they do? They're coming in. Angels just showed me two, two uh, storylines. They come back in or they attempt to come in because with the with the devil card here again he's just using manipulative manipulative negative energy to draw you back in to kind of quote unquote keep you blind keep you indecisive but once you start seeing the truth he knows that those tricks are not going to work anymore so one storyline is that yes instead of using lies and deceit then he starts using emotional love and emo uh, love as deceit right he starts loving you he starts doing this he starts doing that and again, I said to you guys earlier, this person does love you. Hands down, no joke. Okay? But love is not enough to sustain a relationship, especially happily ever after. If you don't believe me, for those of you in the U.S., go check the divorce stats. Okay? That's one storyline. So your manipula manipulative person starts to use emotion to bring you back in, to draw you back in, to bring you back in that blind state. 
The second notion is that a lot of you guys emotionally check out, you start to move on. You may start, you know, contacting or talk to somebody else or do some sort of online dating or start to inquire about somebody else. And now this person that you're inquiring about, they kind of come in with the love that, that you have been drained out of in this situation, right? So I do kind of feel like, yeah, absolutely two storylines. Either your manipulative person starts to manipulate you emotionally or you start to move away from that manipulative person and then you find you a new boo. Yeah, posses. All right, let's see what Romance Angels has for you, Pisces. Oh, God, Jesus. Release your ex. I'm going to put that right there on Mr. Mr. Who am I reading for, Pisces? Yes, Pisces. Uh-huh. Children, a lot. Mm. Nope, I, you heard me. I was going to say a lot of you guys may have children with this person, but angels are like, hell no. Nah. Whomever you're dealing with is acting like a complete fucking child. Right. And when I say a complete child is they just want their way. Right. They throw tantrums and they try to get you back. And the only reason why they want you back is so you could feed them or pet them or encourage them or positively reinforce them. Right. They're being a complete child. And childish. Stay optimistic about your love life. Well, you're damn real. You better stay optimistic because you got new love coming in. For those of you, again, who really, who is successful at releasing this person, yeah, you absolutely have new love coming in. Not only that, but it may be quick, fast, and in a hurry. The card at the bottom, and it'll be true love. So, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I think this was a great reading. If it resonated, inspired, gave you hope, ladies and gentlemen, it is free to hit the like button, and it is even freer to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.